up lovers? It's me again, Lorene, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys my top 10 closet essentials. These are items that will grow old with you and will last you for years. And once you have these basic must-haves, super easy na lang to incorporate your other trendy pieces. When I say essential, I really feel like every girl should own these items. It's super timeless, and when you really take good care of them, it'll really, really last you for a long time. Now, before anything else, you know what to do. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do click the notification bell and if you feel like this video is super helpful feel free to share it to your friends and on your socials now I super love trendy pieces but I feel like every girl should really own basics or staples inside their closet and I'll just be talking about clothes I won't be talking about shoes or bags or accessories so some of the pieces that I'll be sharing with you guys it's more of a save and the others are more of a splurge but honestly guys when it comes to buying timeless classic pieces I really think it's best to splurge I'd rather splurge on pieces that I feel like I'll be wearing for years and years and years and of course if you spend a little extra iba yung quality niya meaning it'll really last for a long time. First would be the plain white tee. I suggest you guys really invest in a really good t-shirt. I have a lot of white shirts inside my closet. It's from Uniqlo. I got it at the men's section because I love oversized pieces and it's 100% cotton. One tip then if you guys are buying shirts or jeans, super ganda if you buy 100% cotton. Now my favorite white shirt brand would probably be Cos. It's super soft and I love wearing it. There's so many ways on how you can style it. You can dress it down by wearing jeans or you can dress it up by wearing a blazer or slack and if you ask anyone what their closet staples are for sure the white tee will be one of their answers next would be denim jeans now I have the dark denim jeans and again just like the white tee I suggest you guys buy 100% cotton or even just 95% cotton because if you guys are wearing it for a long 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 time then kailangan super comfy niya sa inyo there are several types of jeans and it also depends on your body type but since I am petite my jeans must have would be high waist mom jeans super baggy niya for my body frame and my height and I feel like every time I need to go out run errands and I feel like I'm too lazy to dress up mom Mom jeans lang ako and a cute top and I'm good to go. My first color pick would be dark denim but I also have this one. It's a light one and it's also high waist mom jeans. Every girl I know probably owns a pair of jeans. Walang hindi because they're so comfy and they're so easy to style also and they just need to be inside every girl's closet. Third would be denim shorts. Since I live in the Philippines and it's a tropical country, it's like summer all year round, it's super comfy to wear a pair of shorts honestly and I can use it when I'm in the city or when I'm going to the beach. For some reason, every time I travel, I always have to bring one pair of denim shorts. There would be moments where I would wake up in the morning and I just want to grab breakfast somewhere nearby and I really don't want to dress up so I just put on a pair of shorts or my pants and a hoodie and okay ka na, labas ka na. So when I talk about wardrobe essentials these are items inside my closet that I have been wearing for years and this one has been with me probably for two or three years now I always try and look for ways on how I can look taller one trick would be to wear high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts it makes your legs seem longer too Sobrang love ko high waist, lahat ng shorts ko high waist so I have this one which is like my top one but I also have it in white and dark denim slash black Next would be a button-down white polo. You'll be surprised how you can style one button-down polo in so many ways. As in, I can show you four ways on how you can wear it all differently and all styled really, really nice. And mag-add lang kayo na accessory, super okay na niya. You can also pair it with your jeans, your shorts, a skirt, a lot of pieces actually. And, and if you're going to the office, you can wear it with jeans for a casual look. Or if you have any events or business meetings, you can wear it with a blazer. Now, a lot of girls would probably say one of their closet essentials would be an LBD, a little black dress. But since I'm not into dresses so much, my version of an LBD is... <laughs> A blazer pants set. Now, I got this at Love Bonito and I super love the fabric. This one is a set and I love it very much because I can wear it together and as separate. It's so convenient for me to bring this set every time I travel because I can wear the blazer as is and I can wear the pants as is. And if I really need to look extra chic or classy for a dinner, I can wear it together. 
And since I already mentioned the blazer as my LBD version, I didn't have it in the closet essentials. Ko. So I na ko na rin siya. Next! Not a lot of you guys might agree to my next closet essential, but guys, walang basaga ng trip. <laughs> it's a black crop top. I don't know why, but it's really my go-to. As in, every time I wanna look for a top, it always just has to be crop. I also feel like it's a petite girl talking because for some reason, crop tops really just look better on me versus wearing a regular tank top or a regular shirt. Unless it's tucked in my high waist shorts. And it's really just super comfy to wear. I have tons of crop tops. I have this in white in black, I have other crop tops in yellow, and neon, and pink, and purple. Basically, in probably all the colors. I have learned to embrace my height now. I wear crop tops all the time. I pair them with sweatpants, with high-waist shorts, high-waist pants. I also pair it with a jacket, oversized polo. So, there's so many ways I can style a crop top, and it really just works perfectly with my body frame. Next one would be a black Turtleneck. I travel a lot for work. When you're wearing a black turtleneck, imagine yourself wearing gold accessories, earrings, necklaces, a gold belt, or a black belt. It really instantly makes your look super chic and super classy, even without putting a lot of effort. When I go to colder countries, my go-to is really a black turtleneck. As in, every night, I would always just be in a black turtleneck with different, like, bottoms. My go-to brand for turtlenecks would probably be Uniqlo. I super love all their turtlenecks. And if you feel like if you want other colors of turtlenecks, go ahead. I actually have a lot of turtlenecks in different colors also. But of course, black would be the first choice. Other turtlenecks that I have, mustard in neon, of course. Printed ones. This one is from Kenzo and this one is from Ghani. Level up kind na yung color turtlenecks. The only turtleneck you really need is a black turtleneck. A leather jacket. Don't you feel like you're such a badass if you wear a leather jacket? That's how I feel every time I wear it. To be honest, I don't wear leather jackets often because again, I live in a tropical country. But if I know that I'm going to a colder destination, I always, always bring a leather jacket. Especially if I'm saving space inside my luggage. It's thin, but it really does the job. It really keeps you super duper warm. Imagine wearing an all black look or an all white or an all gray, even if you have colors there. Ganda lang yung tingnan. This one is from Topshop and I actually got it in New York. I went there for a press trip for Maybelline It Girls and they gave us leather jackets with our names at the back. And that trip was probably, I think, around 2017 or 2018. So I've had this for around two or three years now. And ang ganda pa rin ang quality niya. Next would be a denim jacket. Now, I'm showing you guys one that has a print at the back. But if you are to buy your first ever pair of denim jacket, I suggest buying a plain one. This one has shearling inside and it's from Levi's. If you guys also want to invest in a nice denim jacket, I suggest you guys buy Levi's. I got this one two years ago and it's still super nice. When I got this one, I chose the one with the shearling because I already have a plain denim jacket. So again, if I go to colder countries, I use this one. But if I'm really just going to the mall or if I'm watching a movie, I wear the one without shearling. Denim jackets are the bomb. I feel like it instantly makes you look stylish also in a way. Especially if it's like a denim on denim look. And the last one that I'll be sharing with you guys is a beige trench coat. You'll be super surprised how chic you'll instantly look by just wearing a beige coat. I got this one from Uniqlo because it's reversible. We're really all about multifunctional clothing now. If you find a classic piece that you can use it in other ways, go get it. It's a steal. Ta-da! And plaid na siya sa loob. Honestly, guys, this is so nice to bring whenever I'm traveling because I don't need to bring a lot of coats with me. Whenever I travel, especially to cold destinations, I always try to bring like reversible jackets so at least I have options even without bringing a lot of coats with me. So I have one. It's Uniqlo. It's a reversible red and brown bomber jacket and you guys have probably seen it. I featured it on my Paris vlog before. But yes, this one is super nice because it looks super chic and and classy, but once you reverse it, trendy na siya. And 
that's it. Those are my top 10 closet essentials. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I hope you find it useful. If you do, please, please do share it to your friends and like, leave some love. Please comment also and do subscribe to my channel for now. Bye! Thank you.